Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your Money and Career Tarot reading and it will be for February to March 2021 for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your first Oracle card. So what do we have for Virgo please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, Message for Virgo. message for Virgo okay your card fell out there so let's go with this we have the Sphinx so the message is choose your words carefully how you communicate in the next month or two will matter so the message is yeah careful of your words um it could you know I mean that could represent some kind of sales pitch new business presentation interview um could be in terms of defending yourself on something so let's see what else we get so what do we have for virgo please angel spirits guides message for virgo yeah nice advice we have from the angels it's focus on your priorities where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome your priorities are calling to you which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. So again, messages, choose your words carefully here and there's a message of focus on your priorities. You know, this sometimes comes up for me when we might be focusing on other people or other situations and not focusing on the things that we really need to do to advance ourselves. So just bear that in mind, okay? And final message for Virgo before we get into the cards. Let's pull your overarching energy for the month in money and career. February to March 2021 for Virgo, please. Angel Spirits Guides. What do we have for Virgo as an overarching energy, money and career? Money and career only, please, February to 20. Thank you. So I've got two cards here. So the page of cups with the four of wands. Okay. So I'm going to pull five cards, Virgo, a little bit different this month. Uh, so the first card is your current issue or challenge in money and career, February to March. Second card is what's going for you. Third card is essentially what's against you or any obstacles to overcome. The fourth card is advice from spirit and the fifth card is the outcome. So what do we have for Virgo, please? Angel spirits guides in money and career only. Thank you. Money and career only, February to March 2021. Message for our lovely Virgos, thank you. Money and career only. See, they want to fall out and then they just go back into the deck. So what do we have? Thank you. Okay, so the challenge we have the Four of Swords, Virgo. First card is out. So the second card is the Six of Cups. What's against you? We have the King of Wands. The Magician, wow, Virgo. I mean, this is your ruler, Mercury, is advice from spirit and your outcome we have wow virgo energy the nine of coins and again bottom of the deck i have the seven of coins i'm just going to pop that there okay virgo so a message of choose your words carefully Focus on your priorities. So the Page of Cups can be about things looking up. Now, yes, you know, lifting your spirits, things looking up, 
pages are the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. So there's definitely an energy here of something is about to look up in February and March for you. I mean, you know, the pages, yes, they can be messages, news to do with opportunity. I mean, this will be creative opportunity, something that's very much connected to your heart. Um, the four of wands in terms of business career can be about milestones, achievements, celebration in the home, the family dynamic because of some kind of achievement. So it feels for some of you, I mean, this can be about something looking up. I'm seeing the door opening here as well. Maybe some kind of door opening, reasons to celebrate. Um, some kind of milestone or achievement here. Uh, it, it feels... This can be some kind of some kind of small achievement, but definitely heralding some kind of new phase, new period where things are looking up for you or some kind of opportunity is coming into you. So it looks good. I mean, it looks nice. It looks very, very nice indeed. The Four of Swords can be a card of recovery. So you might well be considering how to recover in terms in turn of money, career, finances. Um, can also be about deep reflection, contemplation on how you need to move forward here. You know, it might well be for some of you that it could be to do with some recovery, uh, how you move forward, giving some thought to your career path, moving forward, that kind of energy. Um, yeah, feeling that quite strongly. Sometimes, you know, in the challenge position, this can be about feeling a bit stagnated or stuck or exhausted, burnt out. So you might be resonating with some of those kind of energies. Spirit is telling you the Six of Cups is a lovely energy. Now, there could be this can be reconnection energy, so reconnection with somebody from the past. You know, for some of you, maybe this page of cups could be some message or opportunity or connection. Somebody from the past may be bringing in some kind of opportunity. So it might well be that that resonates for some of you. It could well be somebody you've worked with before, could well be somebody who tells you about an opportunity, can also be, you know, it might well be reconnecting with a past workplace, going back to work for somewhere where you've worked before. Could be that kind of energy. The Six of Cups is also a card of joy, finding your own happiness, your own joy, reconnecting, recovering. Um, yeah, so there's definitely this energy of what's going for you is the ability to to reconnect to who you are and find joy once more. It definitely feels for some of you, I mean, like I said, this could be somebody from the past or it can just be you finding your joy, reconnecting to your happiness, focusing on your priorities, things beginning to look up and focusing on how to achieve some kind of milestone celebration here. Now, the King of Wands, it's an interesting energy because it, this is an energy of something that's against you. Can be a person, male or female, in which case this can be sometimes to do with, yeah, it can be sometimes a poor leader. Yeah. Because in more challenging positions, the King of Wands can represent somebody who is aggressive, somebody who is egotistical, somebody who could be a poor leader. So for some of you, you might be recovering, um, reconnecting to somebody from the past or going back to a workplace because you don't like where you are right now. You know, it's that kind of energy. Now, as an energy, the King of Wands, again, male or female energy, but the, the King of Wands as an energy is taking the lead going for something, taking action, following your passions, taking action towards, your, towards a vision, you know, wholeheartedly, full throttle, um, with drive and ambition, you know, that kind of energy. Because he understands how to bring growth, you know, that kind of energy. So it feels very beautiful there, Virgo. 
but yeah it's interesting that I'm getting those energies there I'm definitely getting this energy of somebody not being happy where you are it feels like You might have gone to a new workplace and it's not as good as where you were before and it might well be for some of you that you might be looking for some kind of opportunity or reconnecting to to where you were before for some of you. I'm getting that quite strongly. The magician is all about manifesting and it's interesting because the magician is, you know, your ruler, Virgo, Mercury. So all about communication, choosing your words carefully. So again, there's just an energy of be very careful about your words um, because this is a card of manifesting. So what is it that you want to manifest? This can be a new path unfolding for you. I want to unfold this new path. Could be to do with something or someone from the past here, being influential here. And yeah, I'm definitely getting that the time is now. That is the magician energy. What is it that you want to change? Because now is the time to change. The timing is right. It's ready to act. This is just that moment before you show the world what you're made of. It's all about timing magic acts, aren't they? So there is definitely an energy of you have the opportunity to, to turn something negative to positive, an idea to reality, base metal to gold. This is alchemy, working your magic. So... Definitely the time is right to act on something that you've been thinking about here. And it's to do with, I'm definitely getting this history with you. The I'm going to go here, Virgo. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of, keep going. There's a perseverance energy. Yeah, things aren't manifesting as quickly as you want them to. You know, it's that kind of energy. Certainly with, I mean, that could be to do with um, getting new jobs, getting, you know, um, advancement, getting milestones, um, a sense of achievement. You know, it just feels like there's some frustration here. You're being tested and it's frustrating. And this is a card of taking stock. So again, I'm getting this energy. If you might be taking stock of a current place because you might not be happy and it feels now is the time to manifest this new path, this new opportunity for yourself because it's coming in. A door is opening. You see, you're waiting for that door to open. And the message is definitely take action. Action energy is all here because the nine of coins here, Virgo, is you fulfilling your potential, standing in your own empowerment, maybe getting some more money as well, uh, maybe getting next level, promotion, title, responsibility, call it what you will, but it's somebody who manifests success, success, uh, material success, personal achievement, the nine of pentacles, definite energy here of this is your opportunity to fulfill your potential, to fulfill some kind of ambition and it definitely feels it could be to do with an old workplace for some of you or somebody coming reconnecting to somebody from the past maybe telling you about some kind of opportunity but this is where you might be getting some more money as well we're going from a seven to a nine here so it feels very very beautiful and remember all the while the bird is symbolizing that you're being guided by spirit so it's a lovely lovely energy feeling empowered feeling really good feeling solid secure stable by your own actions and again this is all gold energy so again what you've been manifesting there is some waiting and some testing here some challenges um taking stock of really how to maybe move forward what's of value to you now and it definitely is ending with some kind of personal achievement, a door opening. Can be things beginning to look up, some opportunity that's very much close to your heart, that's bringing you joy. You know, and this happiness feels, it, it feels like the happiness. You want to be happy where you work. And it feels like the door is finally opening. Could be to do with somewhere from the past or someone helping you. So I'm going to pull a final card. Final 
final card for Virgo, please. There's definitely an energy of bide your time here because, yeah, it's ending in success, empowerment, getting exactly what you want, you know, that kind of energy. Final message for Virgo, please, in money and career. Final message for Virgo, please, in money and career. Thank you. February to March 2021, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. Yeah, you see? Abundance. Koi Carp. Move with the flow of abundance around you and through you. Yeah. Love the energy, Virgo. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.